Whenever I see her face, everywhere that I go, and what, even at the picture show, have you seen her? Tell me, have you seen her? Welcome to Book. Do you want to start a barbershop quartet? I'm already in one back home in New Orleans. Then what the hell are you doing in Baltimore? I was told that there was a store of terrifying curiosities built atop a hellmouth in Baltimore. So I traveled here to sell a few rare items I've come to possess over the years. Clearly you don't know what a store is, dingus. I do the selling, you do the buying. Besides, this place is already filled with the gills of mystical useless bullshit. Useless? Nothing I sell is useless. Let me just have a minute of your time. One measly fucking minute, huh? I'll give you 30 seconds. 30 seconds? At the bare minimum, I'm gonna need 45. 45? Good lord! That's a lot of seconds. How about I give you 37 while I get to hum softly while you're speaking? How about you just shut up and listen since you've just wasted the amount of time you're initially willing to give me on haggling so you obviously have no grasp of time? Of course I have no grasp of time. My perception is completely distorted. I'm currently on acid, mushrooms, a gallon of cough syrup, Xanax, and Percocet. It's called Slow Mo Mojo. And some snow came, so what do you got? Ah, uh, well, let's see what I have here in my mystical satchel. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, ha, ha. All right. Here, I have a magic dehydrated monkey. Are you sure you know what a monkey is? Because that is a girthy shaft. That is what the witch doctor who sold it to me out of the back of a UPS truck said it was. Oh, I get it. The magic aspect of the dick is that it's so big. What? What? No, you're missing the point. This monkey dick is over 70,000 years old from a time when monkeys were the size of elephants. No, no. The, the magic of the monkey dick is that if you eat it, it grants you any wish you want. Eat it? Like, digest it or suck it? Well, both, actually. You have to moisten it with saliva, bite off a portion, chew on it until it's paste, and then finally slowly swallow the paste. And then your wishes will be granted. Any wish? Any wish. I'm not going to wish to get tons of ass and then be turned into a toilet seat, am I? No, no, there's no irony in having to suck a prehistoric monkey dick. Hmm. Hmm. Well, sounds good to me. Let's eat this dick. Yeah, excellent, excellent. That will be a hundred thousand dollars. What? I don't have that kind of scratch. Maybe Matt will give me a loan. Matt. What is it? Will you loan me a hundo Thesa so I can eat this giant monkey dick and grant my wish to have my millionaire parents murdered in front of me when I was a child as we left the opera house? You know, so I'll be Batman. Sure, why not? <laughs> Thank you very much. <sighs> Here we go. Take it to the balls. <laughs> Do you want this wish to work? No, that dick. <laughs> now open your throat and swallow it. <laughs> well, I'm... Um still here i don't feel like batman do you remember your parents hmm. yeah they were millionaires brutally killed in front of me opera house what the hell man yeah the yelp reviews on magic monkey dicks are spotty at best man i am suddenly overwhelmed with depression and undirected rage well, then it sounds like you need to have this this bottle of unicorn what's that it is the most potent alcoholic beverage on the earth. It is tasteless, odorless, hangoverless, and it also keeps you energized so you won't even pass out. It's the downfall of man in a bottle. Ah, uh, it's just what I need. This is the only bottle of unicorn in existence, well, in this time period. It is from the future where it was developed as a weapon by a business corp to destroy the lower class. So it's going to cost uh, half a million dollars. Matt. Please get it for me. I need to drown not only my memory of my parents' grisly murder, but more importantly, the fury of not being Batman. Sure. Yes, yes. Here you are. And? Man, the baloney's not Lego. 
You took all the popsicles home. Well, you caused and solved his problem. What do you have in there for me? Seeing as you're such a wealthy and generous man, I'm willing to part with something so rare, so mind-boggling that I was going to keep it for myself. For the record, I'm not generous at all. I basically just ensured that John is my indentured slave until he dies, where I will then reanimate him as an undead minion to continue to do my bidding. Well, what I have here is a hundred petabyte external hard drive. Just a hard drive? You could back up the entire internet on this thing. Twice. How much? Considering that this is the last remnant of a collapsed parallel universe that contained metals we don't even have in this universe that allows for the marvel of this technological wonder, I'm gonna need 10 million. Hmm. How about I just take it? <laughs> <coughs> I'm gonna crawl on my way back out of here, time travel back to before you killed me, and kill you. Oh yeah? I'll time travel back to before you kill me, before I kill you, and kill you! No, 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 not if I time travel back to before you time travel back to kill me, before I kill you, before you kill me! How about I just time travel to now, when I thought I killed you, and kill you for good, but from the future? What about- <laughs> Hey me. Word. Ah. See me later! <laughs> now that that is settled, I'm gonna go back in my office and try to use this thing to create my own Matrix-style life simulator. Or fill it with porn. Maybe... I need to suck it more. No homo!